the Avid Brothers, live on 93 KGSR. Thank that sounded so a lot to me like the opening bell of South by Southwest music. So, the new album is called True Sadness, just announced a couple days ago. It'll be out on June 24th. It is album number nine for the Avid Brothers. You wrote a letter to fans when you announced that record, and it sounds like from the gist of that letter that this is going to be the most multi-dimensional and dynamic Avid Brothers record yet. That there's a lot of things going on on this record. Yes, sir. We, we think so. We think it is. There's always a filter we're looking through, so we think it's the most uh, kind of dynamic and diverse. The song we just did is the first song on the record. And uh, I think, um, thank you. Thank you very much. But I think if you look at the previous eight full-length records and all the covers we played over the years, I think uh, in many respects, you'll see a lot of those directions pushed further than we've, we've pushed them before. Is the way to make record number nine not to think about the other eight? <laughs> I'm not really sure how you make record number nine. That's a good question. <laughs> well, you did. It, ju it just happened. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if we remember making it. You know, we just do it. We just do it. We, we rarely uh, look back. We rarely think about the, the stuff we did before. Yeah, we're just trying to be here. Yeah. On the other hand, that letter seems to also suggest that this is a record that deals in some way with the success you've had, with maybe wrapping your own heads around this success where, I mean, look at this. <laughs> and this hasn't been how every South by Southwest has been for you over the years. No, so, no, no. I mean, is there some coming to terms with that that's happened? Yeah, like uh, doing what we've done, we, uh, we had to reach a point where when someone would give us a compliment or tell us what, um, tell us what we mean to them, instead of saying, well, no, 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 or, oh, I'm sorry, I messed that up, or, no, you got it wrong, we're just this, or we're just that. I think we, we crossed the line where we said, you know what, we don't really know. They're telling us what we are to them, and we, we are what we are to us, but we, we had to kind of be convinced that, okay, you know, this is, this is where we're, we need to be and what we're doing, and, and the people have told us that that come out to, to see us and listen. So really the letter also is like, that's our perspective, fully right. our perspective. Totally, right. but there's a lot of perspe perspectives out there that uh, we can't really take for granted or deny. So we have to trust when people tell us, this is what you, what you mean to me, and that there's so many of those, those points of view. So uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that's what I do to try to define what success is and figure out, okay, when, I always put it like this, you don't go wearing a leather jacket until you've uh, earned the right, okay? <laughs> Okay, and you can always tell when someone hasn't earned the right to wear that leather jacket. <laughs> now that rule can be broken, and I appreciate it when that makes rule perfect is sense to Scott. By the way, for anyone sense. in the room that it doesn't make sense to, <laughs> I, I don't know what the follow-up question to that is. Me neither. I don't even know what I was answering either. But <laughs> uh, on the other hand, you talk about success. Last night, all of us stood in front of George Strait, who plays stadiums and has 60 number one hits. And we were lucky enough to be at a party. You played it right before George Strait. Right. Um, that's a whole different world, and that's perspective in itself, right? I mean, you look at somebody like George Strait. Certainly. Yeah, he, I mean, we grew up hearing, hearing his voice because our dad was a fan. Um, and to see him, he, he does not have an air of, um, of, of big star, of, of star quality. He, he is obviously... George Strait, so he is a star, but he doesn't walk around uh, looking like he um, he thinks he owns it or thinks he deserves it, you know. Uh, so there's just a a good a good amount of lessons to learn just from his spirit, you know. But yeah, he was just a, he was just a guy, just a guy on stage playing guitar and singing, but it's a lot of weight behind it. You're going to be inducted into the North Carolina Hall of Fame. <laughs> Gotta be something you, you couldn't have imagined, right? No. <laughs> Not yet. No, we, we couldn't have imagined that. It's amazing. It's really great. Preparing the speech? Ah, oh, man. Obviously, if it's about leather jackets, there's no telling where it will end up. <laughs> uh, no, right. yeah, we're, we're super. I mean, they couldn't, 
it's, it's just a great honor. It's, it's amazing. We put a lot of stock into, uh, into um, keeping a hold on where we've, we've come from and uh, what, what's made, a, made us who we are, you know. Not necessarily in a successful way, but just who we are. And so, uh, you know, Texas knows all about that, you know, because <laughs> pride is a dangerous word, you know, but, but at the same time, you can't help but let those things that you experienced and lived with growing up affect you. And so we're, we're a product of that. So True, and it's, all, it's also uh, really good for us to stay connected to where we're from because if we're in Ireland and we're playing for, like, you know, 50 people, it's like, you know, back in North Carolina, we're in the Hall of Fame. So. <laughs> <laughs> you need to remind them of that. You guys just must just not know yet. <laughs> Watch yourself. Well, it's going to be quite a year for the Avid Brothers. The new record is out June 24th, and uh, that record is called True Biz Sadness, True Sadness, which is depressing. But it doesn't but sound depressing really. based on that first song we heard. In any event, let's welcome back to the W and to our live broadcasts to wrap up morning one, the Avid Brothers. Yeah.